Hey everyone, so this is Nimzana, who's now living with us here at Feathers Tour. And for those of you who haven't seen the other videos, oh, Nimzana has come to us because last week a group of men tried to kidnap her. And these men belong to a thing in Tanzania that they call the Witch Doctor Gangs. Now, the goal of them kidnapping her was to use Nimzana unbelievably, um, was to use her as a sacrifice to kill her. And they believe that in doing that, either they, they kill the child themselves because they are innocent and free from sin, and they believe in doing that, that they will be rewarded with material wealth by the spirits, or the dark spirits in this instance, obviously. Either that, or they take the child and they sell the child to people who want the opportunity to sacrifice a sinless child. Now, the problems widely known around the world in Tanzania regarding the uh, albino children, where they are known to kill the albino children and sell body parts as good luck, if you like, good luck charms. So, what now they've started doing, as I've just said, is a new belief system where if they take a child, especially a disabled child, who is guaranteed to be free of sin, and they kill the child, then they will, will be rewarded with uh, material wealth. So, Nimzana has come into our protection and the men basically tried to break down the family's door in the middle of the night and she was only with her mother when it happened. Oh, well, it, she was only with her mother when it happened and her mother screamed so loudly that the neighbours from four or five different families came running to her aid and scared off the witch doctors. So then the police called us to say what had happened and we were already supporting Nimzana in the community when this happened, so <laughs> we've got a smile. So she's been in town with the government initiative for a few days before she came to us doing some physio and also she has uh, pneumonia so she's, she's been recovering from that as well. Um, just the living condition she had, she's ended up with such a bad cough. But a reason for her bad cough is also because the parents have not been feeding her properly and if you don't feed her upright enough, the food can go down either uh, the windpipe or the food pipe and cause this barking cough all of the time. So, so Nimzana is now here at Feathers Tail and she is under our protection and our care from the gangs who have targeted her as a sacrifice in her rituals. So, to ensure Nimzana's safety, while she's here at uh, Feathers Till Children's Village, which is where we are now, we've had to add extra night security, which comes in the form of... Oh dear! Comes in the form of additional Maasai warriors. And we've also got a security system, rapid response system, where if we press a button, it sends a radio signal to a truck full of guards who wait on the main road, who work as a private security form, uh, firm, and they come as fast as they can if we hit the alarm button as well. We have a fence around our land, and the Maasai inside the compound with us at night time, and we also have the dogs from the rescue shelter, because we have a rescue inside the children's village, and there's anything up to 20 dogs roaming around at night so it's nearly impossible to come close to the fence without a dog or all of the dogs running to where you are and barking so it's a large quite a large piece of land just over an acre but at least one of the dogs will see someone coming so we're very much secure where we are but just to make sure of any problems because these men are not normal humans, you know, if they're willing to sacrifice a child, they'll stop it in, uh, stop it nothing to get what they want, which will include, if they're willing to kill a child, they kill anybody. But all of the children here are safe, is how we see it. Um, I think everybody here is in the same mindset that they'll protect these children with everything they can offer, and that's what exactly what's going on at the moment. No one staff or security. So. And 
For now, Nimzana will stay with us and her mother will come and visit as and when she pleases. And we will look at the long term solution. I've already tried to get the family to move into our compound. And in doing that, we can offer the protection and the support for the medical care and for the uh, food and support for nutrition and stuff. Oh dear, sorry. Sorry. And for those people watching who don't know, and I don't often say it, I don't often outright ask or say, but what I'm doing here, last year, I had a dream that I should try and start what has become Feathers Tail Children's Village. And since then we now have seven special needs children here. And oh, we have seven special needs children here with us. And we have uh, many able-bodied children living here as well. And we have some uh, adult persons with special needs as well. Now, the goal is for us to build the community as big as we can so we can offer support for any children that need it. Now at present we are full, we can't just keep bringing in uh, every child that comes. We will at the moment due to the witch doctor situation bring in as many children as we can and I'm currently uh, building a new three room house thanks to a donation from a family down on the land. And this is just one example, it's a very dramatic example of why it's needed. I don't think people understand in the West, and I don't blame you for not being able to relate to what it's like, but outside this compound, children like this are being hunted to be sacrificed. That's a reality on Earth, that's a reality for us, this is our life here. Feathers Tail, and the simple fact that it has night security and a fence around it, and all the dogs running around provides a safe haven for the children but also those children who we find who are neglected we've got other children here who we found tied up and stuff uh, because parents didn't know how to deal with a disabled child those children are protected in another way so feathers tail is needed and to do anything we do here is all done through the support we get from social media and at present what we need to do is expand and i don't ever say it outright that I need support but I'm going to say it in this video because it's not me who needs the support it's these children and I'm hoping that the rest of the world sees enough of the children of Tanzania that have disabilities and the normal children to know that they do need us to start sharing with them those of us who have a little bit of affluence in the west and a little bit of material comfort need to start sharing with children and also in this instance, we need to start sharing with them because due to the lack of education and development of society, the children are being hunted to be sacrificed, it's like something from a horror movie. But this is why Feathers Tail needs to be, and this is why we need to keep growing, so I can take as many children as possible here. We don't mind caring and loving for the children, but in doing that, I'm not the normal parent that can go out and get a job and earn money for them. The only way I can do that is ask humanity to help us and at the same time is to, uh, to say the odd prayer and hopefully God will move the right person at the right time to help us from within that humanity. So, so this is Nimzana anyway and she's safe with us and that's what matters. And <coughs> This is Feathers Tail Children's Village and this is one example of why Feathers Tail is needed. And for those who have made it possible, we're grateful. And in the future, we're still going to need support to grow because there are thousands more children like this out there and there's nowhere for them to go. So, yeah, so thanks for taking the time to hear about the Lord's Army story. Man.